Welcome back, Careblazer. Today I wanna to share a simple way you can handle any embarrassing comments or behaviors your loved one might make when you're out in public. But first, I just wanna give a heartfelt thanks to all of you who are supporting me, who have subscribed to my channel, and who are continuing to take really great care of your loved ones with dementia. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already subscribed, all you have to do is hit the red subscribe button on your screen. It's completely free, it really means a lot, and it will make sure that you don't miss out on any announcements of future videos. Okay, let's get started. Have any of you ever experienced a situation out in public where your loved one said something completely embarrassing to somebody or did something completely embarrassing and people started to give you looks and they were wondering what's going on and it got to the point where it was so uncomfortable or so embarrassing to you that you've just maybe stopped taking your loved one out in public or you only do it when you really have to or you continue to do it but you dread every minute and you're kind of on the edge feeling, oh my gosh, when is he going to say something or when is she going to do something that's going to be embarrassing? Have you ever had that experience? In today's video, I'm going to share with you a simple thing that you can consider doing to help ease some of your embarrassment about these situations if they do occur in the future. In dementia, many times the frontal lobes of the brain start to deteriorate. And the frontal lobes of our brain, that's what's responsible for making sure we engage appropriately socially with other people. It makes sure we keep friends and that we don't offend everybody we see. So if you're at a restaurant and your waiter is serving you and you really do not like what the waiter is wearing or their hair color or their haircut, you don't say anything to your waiter. You just kind of keep it to yourself. Or if it's a hot summer day and you're wearing pants and all of a sudden you're feeling really hot, you don't just take off your pants in public because you're hot. Right? These are things that we don't do because our frontal lobes are working. In dementia, when those frontal lobes start to decline, these types of behaviors start to come out and they can't control it. It's the reason why your loved one says and does things that are completely embarrassing out in public. Something you might want to consider doing is to just carry around small cards that explain the situation. So when something happens and your loved one offends somebody or says something embarrassing or does something, you can just walk on by and hand that person a card. Might make you feel a little bit better about the situation if you feel that's something that you need. What you write on the card is completely up to you and your comfort level. I kind of made an example of a card that you can see right here, and you could just say, you can reword this, paraphrase it, say something completely different, but something as simple as my loved one has thinking problems and sometimes does things that are unexpected, thank you for understanding, that can be enough. And it's helpful because a lot of times in dementia, there's no outward sign that your loved one has dementia. So to stand or people standing by or observers, they might not really understand. So while I don't think that you need to worry about everybody else when you're out in public, I think you have plenty to worry about with your loved one. In some ways, this is a nice way to kind of raise awareness in other people that this is something that's happening that a lot of people are experiencing and it can help make more people compassionate about what you're going through and for your loved one with dementia. It's also nice because you don't have to say anything out loud because if you were to say anything out loud or for your loved one to hear, that's likely gonna add to more frustration from your loved one and more um, anxiety and distress in your loved one. They might argue or disagree and then it leads to a whole other sort of difficulty for you. So the card's just a nice way to kind of pass one on and move on and hopefully feel better about whatever just happened. Have any of you ever tried this approach before? How has it worked for you? Let me know in the comments below or if you have any other ideas for how to handle those embarrassing, uncomfortable, difficult moments in public. All right, Careblazer, I'll be back next week with another video. Bye.